good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back. It is early. I am out because I'm finally going to see a pulmonologist, sleep doctor, to figure out if I have sleep apnea and what we can do about that. Check it out, sign up for sleep disorders. Fingers crossed, I think it's gonna be a good visit. You heard that right, or you see that right. I got scheduled for a sleep study. So I'm walking back to the car from Advent Health um, side of the world. Yeah, it was funny. It literally, I was like the, the, the 7.15 um, person who was just like a talker, my doctor said, and my doctor literally walked in looked at like the survey they gave me and was like asked me like four five questions she asked me five questions and four of them i was like every single day every single night every single morning and she's like all right yeah there's nothing else to talk about we just need to get you in for a sleep study because if you had one of these things i'd want to do a sleep study and you've got four of the five so time to get you in and then i mentioned like james being born in the end of october and she's like yeah we got to make sure the sleep that you do get is good quality sleep because you're not going to be getting much of it soon. And I was like, that's why I'm finally here. So, it's time to go home and work now. Many hours later. Many. I, I many. feel like I've had a very productive, but mm. like long, but work was not fun again. It was like a Monday of a Tuesday kind of a thing. But I'm really happy I got my sleep apnea study scheduled. Yeah. And it's almost six. We ran to the P.O. box because... Um, we figured that would be like very contactless and I, right I we're I worried okay so we don't have the biggest peel box and we're worried now with the baby shower that a lot of our family are sending things to the peel box that we don't want it to get tied up we don't want like usps to be mad at us for like having like things arrive there too too often so we'll probably just go one more time before we go to chicago but i on the other hand have been kind of in just like a anxiety rut What'd you call it? I, I don't think, know. I think like that's a good way of putting it. She, she's having a hard time embracing just like taking the day off or just relaxing. Right. And like, I don't have a ton of freelance. There was no vlog today, so I didn't have to edit. I have other stuff I could be doing. Um, and so like as a productive person, like I just have like a really hard time embracing not doing anything. And then it kind of like spirals in my mind just like. And then she feels bad. And then like bad. I can't even just like enjoy not doing anything then. So, I ha I wasn't up for cooking, and so we picked up Hot Crust Kitchen. I'm, like, torn because we're supposed to be quarantining, but we're being very safe. I didn't go in. But we ordered it, and I ran it and picked it up. Right. And so, simple. Mask. Nobody was in there. Yeah. Alrighty, let's show what we got. Which one did I get? I got the Hawaiian. You got the Hawaiian and sweet potato fries? Yeah, so I got the Hawaiian and multigrain, which is, like, a vegan chicken with all these, like, jalapenos and sauces. banana peppers and sauces it's a, and is it a vegan chicken cutlet is yeah it, like, vegan chicken is? yeah and then peter read my mind because i was like oh they usually have waffle fries but i have been wanting curly fries lately and i didn't even know they had curly fries and came back with curly spicy fries. curly fries Ooh, and then mine is just like the normal bread and it's the johnny's house which is just like a caribbean curry sauce pineapple jalapenos and a bunch of yummy things so the night begins day two of our quarantine what we what we didn't show you yesterday when we didn't vlog is that we cleaned up james's room a lot and tonight we're going to reorganize it some we think no we're not 100 percent on how everything is going to get laid out here but we know this is going to get moved this way i'm about to take the extension out those drawers out so i can kind of just shift it by myself and we'll see how layout works from there. Are you gonna help me? You gonna help me, you sweet girl? Go, 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 go. What are you doing underneath there? You hiding from me? I did my very first load of baby laundry today, which is super exciting. Um, we have to figure out where we're gonna put everything, what we're gonna hang, what we're gonna fold, what kind of storage we need to buy. But I'm gonna fold this in some way for the time being while Peter rearranges. Uh, 
by now, I've never wanted to see this more than anything else in my entire life. What? And that put together room with my pregnant wife right here. This is our version of the Great Showman song in Japan scene. <laughs> caused more confusion than we realized. Um, I just pointed out to Peter that this is like graphic design in real life, but instead of me just like using my mouse to move everything, Peter has to physically move furniture every single time and we've done many iterations. He's doing a new one. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know yet. Um, but we want this bed here because we want when you walk in it's like typically when you walk into the bedroom you see the bed, but I want to see the crib and not this bed. And so this bed being over here, then it has more room to come out. Um, I could maybe like what this is looking like. But yeah, we've done a lot of inter iterations. Um, we're, just, we're just doing our best, but it takes a lot of time to move the furniture. All right, we think this might be our favorite so far. So there, Sarah did mention like the two ele tall elements are next to each other, which wasn't too favorable, but I, I said like maybe we treat the windows as tall elements. Yeah, and this will get visually taller whenever we put something on it too. Yeah. Um, and then we are gonna get some sort of curtain that can be draped because this is a really nice and bright room. I think this is our favorite. So do I. And then the kicker is this right here. Hold on. Is this is what I was most concerned about? Is not having to do anything. Right. When it just to, comes. To turn that into a, a queen bed or king bed, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and with this arrangement, you wouldn't have to. You don't have to. Bada bing, bada boom. These aren't staying here, but that was bothering me. I changed it to light, dark light. Alrighty. After talking to my mom, who is quite the feng shui master. We decided to put the lamp over here, make scooch this just a little bit that way, and then put the little lamp up there. So here is our little vista. Peter just signed up for a running challenge. We'll talk more about so it in a little good bit. Because you need some inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna run the L, run the full mileage of the elevated train in Chicago. Not in real life, even though we're going there in two weeks because yeah. I'm not allowed in Chicago <laughs> because I live in this It's 131 state. miles. Yeah, they round some numbers to make Which it Which happens to be 13.1 because it's like in uh, the uh, half marathon. Organization. Yeah. This is a pretty awesome view. Put a little blanket over there. We still are going to figure out everything that's going to go on that table. That's my next pile of things that I have to get washed. It was a pretty cool feeling to fold baby clothes, which is something that I've never done before um, and I've always dreamt of doing. And so that's kind of like my next phase is just like prepping things and making sure everything's clean, sanitizing, sterilizing, and I'm sure like there'll be so much more of that once. Um, we have more stuff and after our shower. So just a feel good night. We needed this. Are we gonna hang the Chicago flag tomorrow? Yeah, we're gonna hang the Chicago flag tomorrow. What else are we gonna do tomorrow? Hopefully show you guys our World Marathon Challenge uh -oh. video. Yes. I, I have a couple. Oh gosh, she does not want him to go. You are small but mighty. Real quick, we have a couple of changes I gotta be make to the video and then we can show you guys. You're so angry right now. Why you, what are you trying to tell us, Lassie? Huh? How many miles are you gonna run tonight? Four. The next like week, it's like all four miles every night. That's what I'm telling myself. Tonight starts because 
it's kind of silly. Like every time I keep saying like, oh, I'm going to start running again. But I started running on, I was like Friday. I was like, I'm going to start running. And then Saturday, what I do, I go do and get this tattoo that I love. But they didn't want me like working out or getting it too sweaty at first. Everything we've said says that like now that it's been, it's like a, the third full day of it. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, it's been three days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, you got it in the morning. Yeah. yeah, I got it in the morning. So like now that it's late and I it like, it is like, it's been doing good. Yeah. There it is. Who remembers what this is? Put a com comment down below if you've never seen the street in our vlog because you're new and I've been that, that slackage. I've been slacking that much on the running. Let me see if I can find some light. It is 77 and uh, 10 o'clock at night. Some thick humidity, but it's gonna get worse. But I still stand by it. You trudge through that Florida nastiness and come fall. It is like the greatest gift to run in a no humid 60 degree condition after three months of this. This is after just two miles. You'll be so surprised because that's what happened to me. And I still am surprised, but I feel really good to be back out. I know I need to give it like four more days of this consistent running every day, but I know it's going to feel so good because I've done it once before. I've done it many times before, but I just want to let all of you know, stick with it. Get out there. Even if it's for 15 minutes, you can find 15 minutes. You can find 30 so you can run for sweat for 15 minutes and then clean yourself up. But that's my new thing. If I don't feel good or it's hot or I have time, I'm going to get out and do something. Even if it's a half a mile sprint for me. But whatever it is for you, do it. Do it for me. Do it for you. More importantly, do it for your loved ones and yourself, actually. Do it for yourself, first and foremost. Most important, do it for yourself. Anyway, per usual, I'm talking and rambling way too long just to stop for me continuing the run because I don't stop my watch. So my watch is still going. And my tattoo is nice and sweaty. So I hope that doesn't hurt it. Doesn't feel bad, but okay, I'm growing. Well, I'm back, I'm refreshed. I just lotioned up my tattoo, just drank a big old cup of water, and we're gonna get ready for bed, but we wanted to tell you about the new challenge, running challenge I signed up for. What's it Ooh. called? Run the L? Run the L. And the L is referencing the elevated train, subway train in Chicago, so it's from- So you guys can do it too if you want. It's run, walk, or wheel, the total distance of the Chicago public transportation system, the elevated public transportation system. It's 131 miles. You have from now until August. I'm sorry. August 10th. August 10th until October 4th. Which is about two miles a day, I think they said? 2.3. 2.3 miles a day. And you could actually join with somebody and do it like a relay, so half the amount, if you wanted to do that. There um, is a referral link we'll put down below. Mm -hmm. As the, like my referral link because I signed up for it already. Mm -hmm. I will fully disclose that for every three people that sign up through my referral link, I get fifteen dollars back, like off of my registration. Yeah. Um, but what do you get? You get these cool prints. Yep. A cool yep. coffee mug, travel mug. Right. A really a metal. nice metal finisher certificate. Can you go to? They had a photo somewhere. So this is the cool. Look, it actually reminds me of something I designed in the past for this window graphic. And it's actually the view from UIC. Just cool. So there's the cost. Cute little breakdown. Here are the prints and the little mug. So it's also it's in the shape of the L, but then it also references the different lines. Isn't that cool metal? The metal. Um, again, just... Cool graphics. Good work. Yes. So just like a fun little thing to keep motivated for. I've also been thinking like I could do it, like not sign up for it, but it be like, I don't know, like it's doable to, to walk. And um, if you're not super, you know, I don't know, trained, it could still be a fun challenge. Yeah, definitely. And of course we love it because it's Chicago yes. and we especially love the L. And I just noticed the Chicago star. 
Looks like it sounds like rain's coming in again. Jeez. Um, but we're going to do the message, and I'm tired. I had to get up. Well, you guys saw I was up early for my sleep apnea. Yep, and I have to be up early tomorrow because I have an OB appointment tomorrow. I'm Baby so doctor. Excited. You don't yeah. get to see him tomorrow, though, right? You just nope. get to hear him? I should be able to, from after tomorrow, I have a, an appointment every two weeks instead of every four weeks. And I should have an ultrasound in two weeks. After, like, seeing Sarah, like, I was laying on the daybed listening, like, we had music playing on our Alexa, and Sarah was just folding baby our clothes. baby clothes, and I was like, this is all I've ever wanted in my entire life, was just to, like, see this image right now. It was just yeah. great. It's going to be so Thank soon. Mm-hmm. August 4th. Every day we have plenty of opportunities to get angry, stressed, or offended. But what you're doing when you indulge those negative emotions is giving something outside yourself power over your happiness. You can choose to not let little things upset you. Joel Osteen. Alrighty, friends. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.